Okay, this lesson, lesson two in chapter two, is all about looking for patterns in numbers. So we're gonna do example number two. And we're gonna notice the patterns that we have growing in this column and in this column. So in the first column, we have 78,245. The next box, we have 79,245. So you can see, they showed us, this jumps up by 1,000. So if we're jumping from 79,000 plus another 1,000, that's going to put us all the way to 80,245. So let's go over here to the second column. We have 80,525. And then they tell us this is going to jump up by 10. So we need to look at our tens column, which is the two, and that's gonna increase by one. So we're gonna have a three in the tens column, and a five, so we're gonna have 80,535. And again, that's true because we have 35 here, plus another 10 gets us to 45. So now that we've done that, let's answer the questions. Each number in the first column is blank more than the number in the row above it. Okay, each number in the first column is 1,000 more than the number in the row above it. So 79,000 and change plus 1,000 is 80,245. So let's look at number two. Each number in the last column, this is our column, is blank more than the number. So we're talking about 10 more than the number in the row above it. So 80,525 plus 10 and if you wanted to, you could even write it there so you could actually see it in action. Okay, is 80,535. So each number in the last row, let's look at our row, is blank more than the number before it. So how are these numbers changing? They're all 80,000, so let's look at the hundreds. We have 245. 345, 445, they are changing by one hundreds. We'll record that. Okay, so it's 100 more than the number before it. Okay, since blank plus 100 got us 880,345, the answer in the first column is correct. So we should have 80,245. So, let's do some guided practice. Write 1,000 more than 3,872. The only place that's going to change is the thousands. And it's gonna go up one because it said more than, and more than means we add. So 3,000 plus 1,000 is 4,000 and 872 doesn't change because we have a bunch of zeros. Here we have 10 less than, means subtract, 10 less than 221. This is a 10. We're going to change the tens column. So the hundreds will stay the same. The tens column will reduce by one to leave us with one. So we'll have 211. Okay, let's evaluate this table. It says we started with 37,828, we ended with 38,000. How much did these two numbers change? If we started with 37,000 and now we have 38,000, that changed by 1,000. All right, in this one, they told us it's gonna change by 100,000 less. So let's look at our 100,000s place, and we need to decrease that by one, so we're gonna have 730,174, all right? So let's do five and six, and then I will let you work on your independent practice. So 
Let's evaluate our first number and compare it to what we have after the equal sign. 36,000 is the same. The place value position changes. Here we only had 500, here we have 600. That means we had to add 100 to get 625. And in number six, we have 98,000 here. We only have 88,000 here. Hmm. So the nine changed and it decreased by one to get us eight. That's the 10,000s place. So we're going back to chapter one. Okay, that's our place value. So we know that we have to decrease the 10,000s place by one group of 10,000. So 98,264 minus 10,000 gets us 88,264. Okay, so you guys can start your independent practice.